Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. Guys, she's hugging the Dixie pillow. <laughs> How cute is she? I mean, that is just adorable. <laughs> That's just so cute. Is that your Dixie pillow now? Is it, Alba? I'm going to really say, is that your Dixie pillow now? Yeah? Are you comfy? Yeah, I love you. Get out of the way, Dixie. <laughs> So, I just went to the pharmacy, the pharmacist, pharmacy, to get meds, and um, the lady who served me, um, she, she said that um, she was really impressed and quite relieved that I actually do it right, because a lot of people who are regular people who are on benefits, so they are exempt for other reasons, they don't know how to fill out the forms properly. Um, because you need your the date of birth, the name, the national insurance number, and you have to tick the right box and all of this stuff. And like apparently, loads of people don't actually know how um, they're doing it. Like they don't know how to do it properly. And she said that if they get to the end of the, if they don't realise, and they get to the end of the day, and then they realise that it wasn't filled out correctly. They don't get paid. So <laughs> so she was really relieved that I actually knew what I was doing, especially seeing as we obviously have so many pieces of paper to fill out because of all the meds that Charlie's on. Um, so yeah, that was quite nice to, um, to hear about the fact that I was complimented for being able to fill out prescriptions properly, <laughs> which is funny because it it just seems like something that just it's just a part of our lives and it's just just don't think of it just makes you think about these people who don't get them regularly but may still be exempt and stuff and yet they don't know what they like how to fill them out um it's just weird but yeah so <laughs> That's a kind of positive start to the day, was that I was complimented. <laughs> um, I've got to go to the doctors now to drop off Charlie's sputum sample. Um, it's really hot, despite the miserable looking weather. It is really hot, like I'm sweating. And it's really humid again, so fun to breathe. But anyway, I will be off again now. And we shall speak to you later. Me again. So, I'm currently in the doctor's. I've literally just dropped off the um, sputum sample. What concerns me is how empty this car park is. Because, as I previous said, previously said, there are not that many car parking spaces here. Let's see if we can... It's too bright outside, so I can't show you. As you can see, that's the end of the car park. It's it's tiny. But... Because of... I think that because of the fact that when you go to book an appointment through the telephone, it says um, emergency appointments only, people aren't booking appointments. Which means that people who actually do need to be seen aren't being seen because they think that they're not important enough. So, it's all well and good keeping, like, keeping appointments open for people who desperately need them, but it does concern me how empty this car park is and how empty the doctor's was because it's like 11 o'clock in the morning fuck me that was close um it's 11 o'clock in the morning and it used to be so busy here you couldn't even drive up the road and now it, there are so many empty spaces 
it's shocking so just wanted to tell you guys that following on from the petition that we said the other day so yeah anyway let's go back home and do meds me again i'm home as you can see and right pharmacy gave me this giant box which is fine because usually they give us a giant box but I don't know if you guys remember but in a vlog a while ago we mentioned that the that Boots is doing this weird fast track thing which apparently they have different bags for fast track stuff I don't know what makes it fast track because it was no quicker than normal but their old bags used to be paper bags these ones are plastic and I know that because of this you ready for this? They filled this giant cardboard box with nine of these plastic bags. And yet they used to. And some of these pl giant plastic bags are in other plastic bags, like carrier bags. So there's more than nine plastic bags in here. And it used to be a case of they used to just put the meds themselves in the box. So then it was just boxes in boxes. And they complain at straws. Which stop people from drinking. And then they do this. I'm not impressed with boots right now. It was nice to be complimented on doing the right thing. But when they do stuff like this, that's not okay. So, yeah, we'll just leave that there. Guys, <laughs> look what I just spent the last half an hour making. <laughs> A teeny, tiny Dixie. <laughs> Hi there. What are you doing here? Are you gorgeous? Careful. Are you gorgeous? Yeah. Mummy's currently at the pharmacy and the doctor's dropping off another sputum sample and I'm looking after the girls and I decided I uh... am I going to make the uh... tiniest spoon and I made it out of da -da -da -da, this so you can see how much how much I had to sort and take away and whatever else but it's um the person who whose card I showed you yesterday this is gonna go in her card as well look how she's led people she's a crazy baby girl my lips are a bit wonky, say Alba. That's my name. Have you got some good lips? Who's your mummy? Look at your lips. You How gorgeous. Oh, you oh, you dropped them. Oh. <laughs> side lips. Why not? Don't you ever have side lips, Abba? mum? Abba? Abba? Hold. 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 Well, I kind of wanted it the other way, but meh. Look what's on us! Yay! Yay! I can't quite work out if it looks better 
with the light on or not. So I'll put pictures in at the end. But I have made a birthday card and it's all like kinda not showing on the camera. Yeah, it's not flat is what I'm trying to see. That's a bit better. I can kind of see the layers. But I think it's pretty cool. All down with Sharpies. And it's a birthday card for someone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then there's a, a little Dixie bag there. I'm really cute with my hand under my face. Oh, yeah. I'm done with my ears being brushed now, Mum. <laughs> Brush my bum. <laughs> <laughs> she literally only started brushing literally, as, soon as, we started as I hit this, the record button. But I, I don't want I no just, more. I just wanted to go down, Mum. Yeah. A lot flying down. Yeah. On my back. Yeah. Yeah. Last I was reading my book this evening. I decided to get the dumbbells out, or well, one of them, and um, I just sat there for 10 minutes on each arm whilst reading, just doing this, and then Soph saw me. It took her about five minutes until she saw me mine, and then she started doing it as well. She wasn't reading, but she started doing it as well. Figured why not whilst I'm just sat there reading. Look at this terrified face. It's not terrified, it's trying to ignore the tick on my name. <laughs> I'm trying to do your mind of a matter of business. It's not working. No. No. I'm sorry, baby girl. But other than that, it's kind of been it. It was a bit of a stressful morning with the whole doctor's pharmacy thing. As obviously you've heard from so with her vlogging. But this afternoon's been not too bad. We still don't have any butterflies. Not yet. Not yet, no. No movement. No. no. I haven't seen any of them wiggle since we put them in there, so hopefully that's a good sign. Yeah. But other than that, there was something we had to do this morrow. Tomorrow, we need to record our sunflowers and our Indian crest flowers that we've, like, managed to save. Well, so we've managed to save. Kind of. <laughs> well, it was kind of the case of she watered them. They looked like they were dying, so we left them and just gave up. And then they suddenly appeared, so she started watering, watering them again. <laughs> That's how it goes. And we've suddenly got a foxglove growing up the side of our house. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Like, they they were in a flower pot. Bless you. We had the side of the patio. Yeah. And we got a sneezy nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now suddenly it's growing up the house. Which is funny. Obviously the seeds or something is blown over and hit it. Well, it was really windy when they were out, wasn't it? So yeah. No surprise, really, was it? Mm hmm There was something we need to do tomorrow and I just cannot, for the life of me, figure out what it was. Post your letter? Maybe, I don't know. Um, but I'm sure we will take you along with... Oh, I remember what it is. Today... I coloured in oh, some yeah. Ooh, plastic cups with our, our nominated colours and we're going to be having a little game of tic-tac-toe bouncy cup style. Knots and crosses for those English people. Yeah, so that's going to be very interesting. We saw it on a clip and we were like, we need to do this. So we're going to do it. Tomorrow. This is very tiggly, mummy. I am not okay with it. No, you're not, are you? I'm not doing it now. There you go. Oh, big sigh. Lick. Lick. Stop tiggling me. Lick. I'm looking away. I'm ignoring you. Oh, I can't resist. I'm done now, mum. Thanks, but no thanks. What is she doing to you? Making my foot look like a plant. Uh, Can I see it now? Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> crusty. <laughs> yes, he's far too tiggly. It's really too. Why is he so tiggly, baby girl? 
girl. So, come join us tomorrow to see us try and play this new game because we don't even know if it's going to work. We've not even practiced it because we want to just record it first go. <laughs> and I can't even remember what we've got to do. So. Oh my goodness. So, thanks for coming on this day bus. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>